Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome to my tiny corner of YouTube. I'm the Modest Sisthi, and here on my channel, I do cashless cash stuffing videos using the zero based budgeting method. In today's video, I'm going to be cashless cash stuffing for the final week of January slash first week of February. If that's something that you're interested in hanging around for, let's get this party started. We're going to have a lot of fun. <laughs> I hope you're all doing well, staying safe. Um, hello to all of my current subscribers. Hello to all of my new subscribers. It's lovely to have you. And oh, don't mind me, I'm just hitting the camera. <laughs> Let me just straighten this up a bit. Yeah. Well, hopefully that doesn't make you motion sick. Alrighty, today we're going to be stuffing um, with my cashless my prop money system a total of two thousand. I can't talk today. A total of $2,053. Those of you who have joined me before know that I use prop money um, in place of actual cash. Let's get this party started. I've got a lot to stuff today um, and a lot for me to talk to you guys today about what, as well because there's got to be, um, I'm going to have some slight changes to my channel over the next couple of weeks. So we're going to start off with my fixed expenses, as we usually do. Um, where are we? We're going to start off with home repairs and maintenance, as we usually do, and that is getting a total of $10. Pretty much the change that's going to be happening um, over my channel over the next couple of weeks is that I am likely no longer going to be filming cash unstuffing videos. Uh, purely because we've taken on a new debt, a car debt, and um, we're coming off our fixed mortgage rate soon. So I need to pick up an extra shift on the Mondays that I would usually film a cash on stuffing. Um, so I'm not going to have time to film, so I'll be filming alternate Mondays, which I will be taking off. Um, but yeah, one less day a week for me to film so hopefully I can still pepper in a few cash unstuffings every now and then but it's not going to be a regular thing so my uploading schedule will most likely be one video every two weeks every fortnight so <laughs> it breaks my heart but I gotta work extra I got bills to pay um, and the reality is that I do these videos as a hobby um, but I don't get paid for it not that I want to I, I purely do this as a hobby uh, but I can work an extra day on Monday and make a decent amount of money so I have to choose so I had to choose the extra shift <laughs> but I will try to do some cash unstuffing videos every now and then for you guys anyways so back to my stuffings uh, we've got 20 30 1 2 3 4 34 dollars in home repairs and maintenance some of these envelopes I did get to um, add a little bit more because we went and cashed in our cans and bottles on Saturday and we got a pretty decent amount. It was probably four months worth of um, bottles and cans. So I was super excited, came home and I stuffed them into extra envelopes that needed it. So hopefully some of them are a little bit more fat. Ambulance membership is getting $5. Let's just swap that for a 20 Healthcare, which took a real battering over the last couple of weeks, is getting $10. Used to get $20, but I've had to make adjustments to the budget. So $10, $15, $16, $17, 18 Unfortunately, my GP clinic has started to um, charge for visits um, because Medicare is not quite providing enough, I think. That's the rationale for it the rebates and stuff aren't covering the price of the GP clinic so it kind of feels like healthcare is no longer free here in Australia depending on where you go which is um disappointing to say the least vehicle insurance and registration is empty we had to switch over insurance to the new Mazda that we just bought um, 
and that cost an extra $800. So I had to dig through all of my envelopes and into a little bit of savings to be able to pay for that. So vehicle insurance and registration is getting 180. So 150, 60, 70, 80. The one con to getting a new car is that the um, amount to insure it for full comp is exorbitant. <laughs> Vehicle maintenance is getting a hundred. The bright side is that it was serviced when we got it, so we shouldn't have to service it for at least 10,000 kilometers. So that's at least a good sign. <laughs> Swimming is getting 20. I'm going to swap these for my favorite notes. So we've got $120 in swimming. I have a visitor. Hello. Can I see my bit for camera? No. No. Go do some drawing or something. Go do some drawing or play some Lego or something. Um, I want to play some Lego. Ah, oh, yeah, go play some Lego then. My boy starts school tomorrow. I don't know how I feel about that. So that's why I'm trying to cut down his iPad time. <laughs> he can go play some Lego. Her work expenses is getting $35, which I will not condense because every fortnight I take money out. So 100, 150, 170, 190, $205. Uh, so new financial year, I have to pay for my nursing registration. So that's where a lot of that I'm saving for that. His work expenses is getting $5 so that when his swimming accreditation um, comes up that I have the money for that. So we got $25 in his work expenses. Debt is getting $180. So this is for the car loan. Pretty sure I've got a payment coming out tomorrow. So I'm not going to bother condensing this. So we're going to do one. 50, 60, 70, 80. Yeah, because my first payment's scheduled to come out tomorrow. So already ahead one payment. 100, 200, 250, 300, 320, 340, 350, 360. In debt, an envelope that I was hoping I would never have to stuff. <laughs> Sad face. Solar panels is getting its usual 15. Um, usual 15. Let's swap that for 20. Alright, so we've got $45 in solar panels. That doesn't sound right. No, 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 that's right. Never mind. I just can't count. <laughs> Solar panels. And pet insurance is getting its usual 13 for the weenie. And then veterinary is getting 10. I'm pretty sure I pulled 100 from this to put towards car insurance because I felt like I was a little bit ahead with this. So we've got $110 for veterinary. Unless, God forbid, there's an emergency, I should have more than enough by the time Daisy's vaccinations come around. So it's fixed expenses are done. Yeet the binder. Moving over to my variable high priority. So let's just flick through and see what rollover I've got, which is not much, unfortunately. <laughs> What have we got? We've got two dollars in groceries. We've got five, six, seven, eight, nine dollars in petrol. Um, that's it. What have we got? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put back five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to pull back a 10 as my rollover and let's just pick a random envelope to put this into. Let's put it into medication. One, two, three, yeah. So we've got $10 to put into our OS envelope. 
which I put my roll over in in case I go over budget in a category. And I don't want to put ones in there. <laughs> All right, back to groceries. So groceries is getting its usual 600. So I do two 250s and two 50s. <laughs> two 250s and two 50s. So we've got 250, 500, 550, 600 in groceries. Petrol, I've reduced this budget down to 300 to see how we go, mainly because um, my husband's previous car, the Calais, half a tank or just over half a tank would cost us $100 and he filled up the new car the other day with the more expensive premium petrol and a full tank was at $93 in comparison, so I reckon I could take a little bit off this one but we'll see how we go so we've got 100 200 300 dollars in petrol we will see how we go i might have to up that because prices when i was driving home yesterday i saw that they have gone back up to the two dollar a liter so we will see medications is getting a hundred so let's put in a 250 placeholder 250 one, two, three, four, two fifty four in medications. Pet care is getting thirty. Had to buy uh, worming tablets for the sausage. Let's actually swap that for a hundred dollar note. So pet care has a hundred dollars. Lunch orders is getting ten dollars. Uh, I won't be getting lunch orders every week for my little ones, that's for sure. 50, 60, 75 in lunch orders. Birthdays, usual thirty dollars. Some of these amounts I do not change week to week, which my regular viewers will know. So we've got $95 in birthdays. The next birthday coming up um, is my mum's birthday, which is not until July. So I've got plenty of time to bulk that envelope up. Miscellaneous, I made sure I put something for this fortnight because that's going to catch anything that I haven't budgeted for. So we've got $50 in miscellaneous. Subscriptions is getting $40. So we got 140, 1, 2, 3, 4, 144 in subscriptions. Hers, I am getting $50. I um, spent too much money on books <laughs> last fortnight. Actually, I bought a new book that I saw was going viral on BookTok called When the Moon Hatched. And I could not for the life of me find it any cheaper than $42. So that was most of my spending money gone. So I'm hoping that that book lives up to its hype because instead of the usual $12 to $16 that I pay per book. So it's a little bit painful. Man Shakes is getting uh, $30. I think this is where the majority of our um, recycling money went to now that I think about it. Let's swap you two for a 50. So I've got 155, 6, 7, 8, 158 in man shakes. More than enough for my man to shake. Clothing, you are getting $10 this fortnight. Haircuts, you are getting $10 this fortnight. Self-care, you're not getting anything. Right now, most of our self-care items are actually being um, eaten up by the grocery budget. So I haven't had to stuff individually for self-care. Things like deodorant and shampoo, I've been able to absorb into my 300 a week in groceries. Um, that 300 also pays for household items such as toilet paper, paper towels, detergent, all of that. So when I say groceries, it's for everything that I get at the supermarket. 
I've seen other people stuff separately for household, but I've been able to absorb it into groceries. So I'm probably keep it that way. I care you are getting $10. Let's swap you for a 50. And let's swap you for a 250. So we've got 250 in I care. I'm sure I will need glasses soon with all of the reading that I have been doing. <laughs> or an update on my glasses anyway. Dental care is getting $10. So we've got $115 in dental care. And that's it for high priority variable expenses. So frisbee. Low priority variable expenses. What have we got? I think I did a little bit of reshuffling in here. Modest aesthete. I took the 25 out of there and moved it somewhere else, but I can't remember where. But anyway, nothing for markets, tollways and parking, nothing, fines, nothing. <laughs> Touch wood. Entertaining and hosting. So it's Chinese New Year in two weeks. So we are putting $20 into that. So let's actually make that a 50 and a 10. We're going to be doing a steamboat for Chinese New Year. And I'm lucky my little steamboat machine actually has a hot plate on top. So we can do a little bit of Korean barbecue as well. So I'm excited about that. Booze nothing, nothing, nothing. Family fun, nothing this fortnight. Gifts is getting $10. Nothing for you, nothing for you, nothing for you, nothing, 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 nothing. Pretty much this whole binder is just empty because this is all low priority. Tax lotto though, you were getting 25 because Powerball is jackpotted to 200 million this Thursday. So we've got to be in it to win it. So I've actually allocated $25 to Tats Lotto this fortnight in the hopes that maybe I'll at least get the price of my ticket back. <laughs> we will see. May the odds be ever in your favour, Australians. Oh gosh, I hope that at least two or three people win that jackpot. Share the love around. What an amount that is. 200 million, could you imagine? Uh, that's it from this binder short and sweet. Might get rid of this binder because I haven't stuffed anything properly in it for the last couple of weeks. Uh, moving over to my kids and holidays binder. I have actually moved my children's parties envelope back to the kids binder just because my daughter's birthday party is coming up in a week and we'll be depleting most of this envelope which means that um, there won't be much in there to gain any interest in. So I moved it out of my savings account and put it here. The nature of my savings account is that if I don't make any withdrawals for that month, I get bonus interest. Um, but I have had to make withdrawals to pay for party deposits and stuff like that. So I thought, let me take it all out before the end of this month and not next, so I don't get penalised for next month. Kids clothing is getting $10, so we can swap this for 100 So we have $202 in kids clothing. Gosh, I just heard the Lego box get turned upside down. Far out. I am going to regret walking out of my bedroom when I'm done filming. Outside my master we have our little um, retreat area where the kids keep all their toys. And yeah, I'm going to be stepping on Lego all night by the sounds of things. Next up, Kids Miscellaneous, aka the Yes Envelope, which is getting 10. So let's put 20 in there. School Uniform is getting $5, which is better than nothing. So we've got oh, $95, 50, 70, 90, $95 in School Uniform. Because... My children grow like weeds. Before and after school care is getting five. So we've got $30 in before and after school care. I looked up the child rebate thing because I've been meaning to apply for that for a while. But I read somewhere that if you don't use it with 
or book a childcare service within a certain time frame that it lapses and you have to apply again and the truth is that we use before and after school care so sporadically that I would be probably reapplying for it every three months so I might not actually apply for it we'll see because that's going to be a pain in the backside applying every now and then happy to be told I'm wrong if any of you guys do the childcare rebate um, please let me know in the comments if I've got that wrong just when I was researching it the other day school supplies is not getting anything we depleted that for um, return to school stuff events and fundraisers is getting 10 I'm gonna start preparing for school photos with two kids I'm sure it'll cost a lot of money <laughs> School transportation, nothing. Seasonal activities, nothing. No, no. Parties. Parties is actually going to get the contents from the January Savings Challenge. So I'll come back to that. Holiday decor, nothing. Chinese New Year, you are getting $10. Nothing, Valentine's Day, nothing. Easter is getting a five. Stop you for a ten. Mother's and Father's Day is getting a fiver. So we've got twenty, thirty five dollars in Mother's and Father's Day. Halloween, nothing. Ooh, I'm going to have to relaminate this. It's starting to peel. All right, I'm gonna have to remember to relaminate the Christmas envelope later. Christmas is getting thirty dollars. So let's swap you for twenty. So we've got ninety dollars in Christmas. Yeah, that's going to annoy me. I'll go laminate that after while I'm doing my editing. <laughs> and nothing for New Year's Eve. Not going to frisbee you because I'm going to put something in you. You can stroke her. Uh, next up is my savings binder. Not much going into this either, I'm afraid. What have we got? Let's do some flicking. Um... One month ahead actually took a real battering. Um, this is actually where I got most of the deposit from the car from. So I've only got $515 left in my one month ahead um, binder, binder envelope. And I also took a fair amount from the security cameras envelope too, just to pay for the deposit for the car and the extra insurance and stuff. So. That will have to be a priority when I have a bit of extra money to put away in savings. Uh, orthodontic is getting $10. What's today's date? Yesterday was the 28th, so today is the 29th. So $10 in orthodontic. So that'll make it, what, $607. If I've counted that right. 500 uh, 20s 500 600 567 dollars 607 dollars what five and a half thousand more dollars to go <laughs> for braces <laughs> far out appliances is getting a five dollars We've got $110 in appliances. I think um, by the time my daughter's actually due braces, we should be a little bit better financially because my mum will be receiving her aged care pension by that time. So currently, me and my husband... Um, completely support my mother financially we pay all of her bills we give her spending money every fortnight so that she doesn't have to um do centrelink job search and stuff like that um so when she starts her aged care pension and she has her own money again and that frees up 
a quite a substantial amount for me and my husband every fortnight that I should be able to be, easily be able to pay for my daughter's braces by then. And hopefully a new car for myself, fingers crossed. Uh, so I'll keep this on board. <laughs> uh, I think that is it. Yeah, that's it from this binder. Not much. Too many empty envelopes for my liking. It makes me quite sad. Uh, Yoit! And then... So, savings challenges. We finished our January challenge and I forgot to put um, a celebration. So, fireworks! Yay! January's finished. So, January's 50. 20, 30, 40, 45, 50 is actually going to go into parties. So I'm going to put that to the side. January is complete. So let's put this at the back. And we are moving on to February. Yep. Why didn't I just flick that and do that easier? I don't know why I did not do that. So my February savings challenge this week is going to be getting $30. So we're going to stuff $25. And we're going to stuff a five. So let's do this in the small denominations. So we've got 20, five, and an extra five. So $30 going into the start of my February savings challenge. Let's see if this is dry. <sighs> yeah, beautiful. I really should take off all of these um, colorings that I've done for every other um, month, but I want the dopamine, so I'm going to leave it. I'll frisbee that binder and back to parties. So in parties so far we've got how much have we got? We've got 750, 60, 765, 66, 67. Um so let's just put this all together and then condense, otherwise I will confuse myself. Alright, so we can swap these, swap these for 50. Eight hundred. Let's swap you guys for a ten. Eight hundred. Ten, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Eight hundred and seventeen. Six hundred of that will be gone in a fortnight. Because <laughs> children's birthday parties are expensive. Alrighty. I, that's it. That is it for my stuffing for this fortnight. Thank you guys so much for joining me, spending your precious time with me. I hope you're all doing well. I hope that you're all sleeping at night when it comes to your finances and stuff. Um, we'll see what the RBA says when they meet for this next month. Fingers crossed that inflation's slowing and they don't increase the interest rates because, um, we're already in a whole lot of pain, aren't we all, hey? <laughs> Alrighty, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to yeet this out. We'll say bye-bye. Yeet! <laughs> Doodaloo.